guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share about teaching textbooks and why we originally chose to use teaching textbooks in our homeschool and as my kids have grown older, why we continue to choose to use it year after year. I'm going to talk about the impacts it's had on our homeschool as a whole and all the different reasons that my children have enjoyed continuing to use it as they've gotten older through our homeschool and why my younger kids are excited to use it when they get to that age. So if you are looking for a homeschool math switch in the upcoming school year, if you're looking to make a change or you are feeling the, the conflict when it comes to math in your home, this video is for you. So stay tuned. So before I begin, I just want to say thank you so much to Teaching Textbooks for partnering with me on today's video and for continuing to partner with my channel over the years. I always like to clarify that we actually began using Teaching Textbooks before I ever worked with them. The reasons that we chose them then are still the reasons that we continue to work with them now. We love Teaching Textbooks in our home and it has really resolved a lot of my concerns when it comes to math and relationship with my kids in our homeschool. So that brings me to my first point, which is the reason that we initially chose teaching textbooks years and years ago. I brought a lot of anxiety to the table when it came to teaching math to my children at the time. And it was completely unfair for my kids who were learning math for the first time to have a stressed out parent coming to the table um, and bringing that kind of dynamic to the lesson. Math lessons are really nice and simple and fun at the beginning, but I was doing anything but making it simple and fun. And that's because math is just something that I know I didn't want to mess up initially. I didn't want to have to go back and fix things that I caused. And so I was constantly bringing this tension to our homeschool table that I just didn't want there. And so back then I reached out to a friend who was using teaching textbooks and I asked if we could take a peek at their lessons and I fell in love with it. And so when my oldest was um, getting ready to go into third grade, we started with math level three and we never looked back. Ever since then, all of my children around that age get funneled right into their own teaching textbooks course and they love it. It's become a thing where the younger ones kind of stand over their big sibling's shoulders and like watch their bonus rounds and watch their math and get excited. And I had one son who was just so anxious to use it that we would use the free trial just for him to get his hands on it because he was so excited to do teaching textbooks even before he was at the right age to use it. So that is the initial reason that we chose teaching textbooks. It relieved me of that anxiety and it gave my kids a really good relationship with math because it's so fun and it's engaging and they were able to just move right into that and continue on. I love the fact that from the beginning, when they start with level three, they can use the same math program all the way through high school. It really is such a blessing to have one same company that you're able to do all the years of homeschool math with because you know it's gonna be consistent. So that's why we initially chose it, and that is still enough for me to continue to choose it today, but as we've grown with teaching textbooks, the reasons that we love it have just become more and more and more. So I'm gonna start with my older kids. The reason that my older children who are in middle and high school love teaching textbooks so much are plentiful, but I'll name a few specifically. So number one, they love the versatility and the independence. So all my older kids have a lot of commitments and the neat thing about teaching textbooks is that you can take it on the go. They can put it on their tablets, their laptops. They don't have to just do it at home under our Wi-Fi. Uh, teaching textbooks will load a certain number of lessons so you can even do it off Wi-Fi. So it's really great for my kids to do at the dance studio, in the car on the way to football practice, or when we travel, because we do like to travel a lot, and so it's nice for them to be able to continue their math without having to um, get fall behind. So that's one reason, is just the independence of being able to take it on the go and being able to have that um, responsibility on their shoulders. They, my kids have always enjoyed it taking ownership of their lessons. And so being able to choose when, where, and how they do their lessons is a big plus for them. The next thing is the independence, like I mentioned. They're able to navigate the course on their own. It, if they struggle with something in a lesson, the lessons often tell them where this 
topic can be found in their ebook or what first lesson it was taught in. So they're able to kind of pop back to the ebook and see the lesson and get a refresher. They're also able to try something a couple of times before they get it wrong. And if they ultimately need to, they can use teaching textbooks tutoring service, or they can ask me to go work with them and help them with their grade. You can always go back and edit the grade book and help them along if you feel like there was truly a simple mistake that was made. The other reason that they really like teaching textbooks is because of the pause feature. So as I mentioned, my kids have a lot of extracurriculars and there are some seasons that are a little bit more intense than others. If we have a competition or an away game or just something that they're gearing up for a big project in their co-op or something, they're able to pause their lessons for a week at a time minimum. So you have a certain number of pause days available in your 12 month digital course. And so you're able to pause it and continue on um, with your homeschool as necessary and then pick it back up when you're ready without the pressure of feeling like you're losing time with your math course. Moving on to my younger kids, this is the big draw to teaching textbooks for them. It is the interaction, it's the fun, it's the stickers and the buddies and the sounds and all of that. If I think that those stickers and buddies and sounds have become too distracting, I can pause them, I can um, disable those from my side of the account and take them away temporarily until the kids have a little bit more um, consistency with doing their lessons without just depending on those buddies and those interactions. But that rarely happens, honestly. It just adds such a fun element for them and then they're able to do their lessons and stay focused. It's been really fun to see them engage with it. All of my kids have had very different learning styles and they have all loved those different interactive features. The sounds, the noises, the um, buddies, the stickers, the little exciting like, you got it after they get a lesson right. They also love the fact that you can try something a couple of times or on occasion you can have a hint. Again, that is something that I can disable from my side of the account if I feel like they're depending on it. I can also see whether or not they made a second attempt at a problem before they uh, moved on so I can see where they may be struggling. That is a wonderful feature of teaching textbooks and one of my favorite things is that I'm able to stay updated daily on my kids' progress so I'm never too far off course. I'm never too disconnected from what they're doing even though they're able to do their lessons independently. So every single day when they finish a lesson, I will get an email telling me what lessons my children have completed and what their score was. I can also log into the gradebook on the parent portal and I can see everything from um, how many questions they got right and wrong and what their overall percentage is to whether or not they made a second attempt or um, how many lessons or how many of the questions they answered. So it's really helpful for me to see where there might be a struggle. We have a personal um, percentage in our homeschool where if they get below that number, I'll sit with them and work on the lesson. But if they're maintaining a certain daily score, then I just let them, I let, I let them at it and I just keep track of where I see some um, sticky points behind the scenes. So it's been a wonderful uh, experience for all of us to have um, independence, but also for me to stay near to it so that I'm not completely in the dark with what's going on with math. And then my really little kids who aren't quite at teaching textbooks age yet, they also benefit from us using teaching textbooks in our home. And that's for a couple of reasons as well. Number one, it frees me up to have extra time with them without teaching four math lessons every single day because math is something that you're not wanting to go too far in between. So if we didn't have teaching textbooks in our home, I would be spending hours every day teaching my multiple kids math lessons. So of course my really little ones benefit from that extra time with me, but also they just get excited. They love standing behind their siblings and watching the bonus rounds and watching the math lessons and they get so excited when the things pop up and interact. It makes my little ones really look forward to the day that they get to use teaching textbooks. And right on cue, uh, my next child who will be using it in about a year is already asking when she can get her hands on it. So. If any of this sounds interesting to you or you want some more information, you can use a free trial. I'll put the link down below for that free trial. This gives you access to the first 
15 lessons within each different math course if you want to try it out there's no time limit on how long it takes you to use those 15 lessons but should you choose to then purchase a digital course then you can actually transfer those 15 lessons into the course so your children don't have to repeat those lessons so i'll put that information in the description box down below thank you so much teaching textbooks for partnering with me once again on another video here on my channel and i hope that if you guys are looking to make a math switch in your homeschool or if math has become just a tense a tense point in your homeschool that you'll consider teaching textbooks if you guys use teaching textbooks and love it let me know in the comments down below and i will see you guys soon bye guys